Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to work on towel grip deadlifts with kettlebells. We have talked about this topic in the past, adding up multiple kettlebells so that you can get a heavier weight to deadlift with. Kettlebells are not the ideal thing to deadlift with because they are intermediate weights. With lockdowns continuing around the world, we would like to have options to continue our deadlift training. We have made a video about this previously where we talked a lot about the math of how to do this to get your training to move forward even without your barbell. In a previous video, we had talked about taking kettlebells, getting them into one hand, and working on our deadlift. People have pointed out that not everybody can get their hand around multiple kettlebells. Simple solution for that. This is also a solution that we use to train circus performers or crossfitters or people who need to climb rope. We are going to use a scarf or a towel or any other type of implement, and we are gonna thread it through the handles, and that is going to give us what we call our rope climbing grip or our aerial grip. This is also a club grip. When you swing across the bottom with a heavy club, you will be using this same grip. Take your kettlebells. I usually throw a loop around each bell just to make it a little bit easier and hold on to things a little bit tighter. Get your kettlebells where you want them. Point two feet generally straight ahead. Take whichever hand you're gonna use, get them as close to the kettlebells as possible and stand all the way up. Straighten your legs out, set it down. Two feet pointed straight ahead, kettlebells directly between the feet. Get our rope climbing grip in hand, stand all the way up, squeeze those glutes as hard as you can, drive that shoulder down away from the ear, fire that lat. Set the weight all the way down, stand all the way up, set it all the way down. The fun thing about this grip is that you're not limited to two kettlebells. You could start stacking up two, three, four kettlebells to do this method. Let's lace a third kettlebell in here just for demonstration wrap around one loop that pulls them all together nice and tight some people will even put a knot in the top to keep them from bouncing around the tighter they are usually the better it is stand all the way up heels on the ground pull your kneecaps up squeeze your glutes at the top squeezing your glutes protects your lower back get your grip stand all the way up squeeze your glutes at the top set it all the way down Stand all the way up, squeeze the glutes, set it all the way down. This is a very, very simple idea, but it does work very well. It challenges your grip in a different way than barbell does. Barbell has that monkey grip where you're pulling directly against your fingers. With our aerial grip or rope climbing grip, we're gonna focus on the okay part of our grip the top part squeezing together as hard as possible. This is the same way that you grip when you do aerial and you climb rope. We ran over the mathematical idea for this in a previous video. Let's say you deadlift 300 pound barbell, five reps. That's 300 times five would be 1500 pounds. Add up the number of your weight and divide it by that 1500 pound total work capacity from your barbell. And that will give you the rep count for this. You can round down or round up. So if you added all of these up and they came out to, let's say it's 150 pounds to make the math easy, then you would do 10 reps with this to match the work capacity of your barbell. It's not perfect translation. It is a different lift. You're taking what is normally a symmetrical lift and you're making it a one-sided lift. So you will get a different type of core firing and you will have to focus on squeezing your glutes extremely hard to stabilize your lower back. That's fine, that's kind of the point. Your rope climbing grip is almost always less strong than your monkey grip as well. So you will run into grip fatigue. That's also fine, get stronger in every direction possible. That's kind of the goal of training anyway. If you did 150 pounds, easy math, and you had to do 10 reps, you could break it up and do five reps left and five reps right, or you could do all the reps in one hand. That's up to you. Depends on how challenged your grip is when you do this activity. You could also do this with two hands. It's just a lot less fun. One hand on each side, stand all the way up, set it all the way down, stand all the way up, 
set it all the way down. It changes it back to a symmetrical lift with two hands firing equally. One hand will always give you a greater core response than two hands on.